Journaling can be one of the most transformative habits in your life, and today I'm showing you the ultimate guide to setting up a seamless journaling system in Notion with a focus on seamless. I've been journaling in Notion for a while, and it's helped me track my thoughts, improve my mental clarity, and even get a deeper understanding of my goals. This proven system is one you can personalize and make part of your daily routine whether you're new to journaling or you already have experience. Because if you don't create a system that works for you, then your journaling habits might fade and you'll miss out on the clarity and growth that it can bring to your life. All right, here we have my very exciting journaling page. Well, the first thing we're going to do is actually delete the word journal. This here is just going to be your dashboard. So if you already have a dashboard, then you're a few steps ahead. Now what you're going to do is forward slash calendar. And here we are just going to create a new database. Click on new calendar here. And this here is going to not be your journaling, but it's actually going to be your to-do list. A lot of people have a page for their journaling, another one for their habits, another one for their tasks, another one for their fitness, etc. It just gets too messy. So we're going to have everything in this one calendar. Don't worry, I'll show you how this all works. So if you have your tasks in here, here we have task one and task two. Let's say you are going to journal. Well, what we want to do is actually set up a template. Now this isn't going to be your typical Notion template that you might have heard of. This is actually going to be a database template. So if you click on the little down arrow here on this database here, you're going to see new template. So we'll click here and this will be your journaling template. So I'll just write journal entry, for example. And in here, you can write all your questions. How do I feel today? Question mark. And then a divider. So here you could put all of your favorite journaling prompts. If you want to help someone out, comment below your favorite journaling prompt. After you've added all your questions in here, what we're going to do is click on add icon here. And what I'll do is write the word write and click on this one here. Now I just have a little icon for it. So now when I click away, what's happened is we have created this template in here. So if I click on plus here for today, as you can see, journal entry now shows up. And once I click that in, it automatically loads this in. So now I have this template for journaling every single day. So as I click here, I can click on journal entry and now journal for the day. Now I know what you're thinking, this might get very messy. And I'll just duplicate this a few times. As you can see, this here is going to get very, very messy. And if I were to go back and look at my old journal entries, it's just going to be difficult to sift through all of this. So that's why the third step here is really important. What we're going to do is either create a separate page or a project, however you want to structure it. So I'll click on page here and I'll call this journal entrance. Now what I'm going to do is forward slash database. And here I'll click on table view. Now, instead of creating a new table, what we're going to do here is just search for the table we just created. So here I can see it and I'll click on this. Now, as you can see, all of these tasks and everything are showing up, but I only want to see the stuff called journal entry. So here's what I'll do. I'll copy this title here and we're going to add a filter. Now, if you haven't used filters before in Notion, there's filters, there's sorting, there's also automations and groups. These are kind of the four big things for your databases. But for this, all we're going to do is click on filter and we are going to filter this by the name and have journal entry as the filter. As you can see, it is now filtering my database here to only show me stuff where the name contains journal entry. And because our template is called journal entry, all of them will automatically show up in here. So now we have this page here that's going to have all of our different journal entries. And what we can do here is use this date property and actually sort by the date. So I could say sort by date and I could say date ascending or date descending. So let's say I journal on the 23rd, journal entry, click away. Automatically, it will appear here in my journal entry, 23rd, as you can see. Now you can take this to the next level. In headquarters here, which is my premium Notion template, if I click here on weekly review, it will add the Eisenhower matrix. It will also add the state of mind. And then we have a few questions, but these two things here, that's what really makes this the next level. So under completed this week, it will show me every task that I've completed in the past week. So what I'll do here is just add a fake one, just to show you how this works. And what you can do is go through your week's tasks. So right now there's just the one and label if it has moved the needle. Down here, you can also see your habits this week and journal about that. There's also bottlenecks. This is really the next level of journaling in Notion. So either try out the first journal that I showed in this video, or if you're ready to take the next step with Notion, then check out this video here, which is a full tour of my Notion template, which includes this weekly review journaling feature that a lot of people have emailed me and said it's their favorite part of the template. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped.